Hi, this is Alexander and I'm making a game. This is going to be the significantly upscaled version of the race development log. As I finally learned to use uh, Open Broadcast Studio properly with the correct settings so that the video does not look like crap. So let me show you what I've done this week. I am going to start up the game. And boom! Look at it, look at it. So, first things first. I have made a new level for testing purposes. Which, as you can see in its entirety here. I can jump up on the roofs. Uh, and let me show you. Uh, and once I've shown you what's over here, that's pretty much it. Uh, so I made a level using the title set that I showed you f uh, in the first video. And as you can see, I have animated these little net hood enemies. So now they are using pathfinding to actively try to follow the player. And they don't take the closest path every time, but they rather try to... They randomly pick which path to take so that they can take a suboptimal path, like up across this roof here and try to ambush you from behind. So, the tactic they use is that some shard straight forwards and then some take the rooftop route to ambush you from behind, so they encircle you. So if I start the game again, we're going to see this in action, or a bit better action than before. Some of them are charging straight through me at the street, and if I jump up, I can see that some of them are coming up from above. Uh, and if I if I jump up on the roof here, you should see that they they will they will scan the environment and they will be able to follow me up. This guy just rocketed into space. I don't know what was about that. There's still some glitches about the system that I'm gonna have to iron out. But for for one week of development, I'd say I'm pretty happy with the way this had turned out. They seem to be able to navigate the environment quite well. So let me open up Unity and show you how this works under the hood. Alright, so here we are in Unity. Let's start the game in Scene View. Uh, let's go over to Scene View and you will be able to see how the enemies try to follow this navigation graph that I've set up. So if we take the player, we take the player, and we move him over here. You can clearly see how the how the the enemies are actually following these preset path that I made. So the idea the idea I'm having is that I should be able to trace any any basically any kind of environment with this sort of graph and make and using the system I already have. Uh, the enemies should be able to to navigate any any kind of complex environment that I can think of. So this is a pretty general solution in and of itself. As you probably see as well, I have added some post-processing effects from the default Unity post-processing stack. Like, there's grain in the background and there's a little vignette to simulate a TV so it looks like a sort of 80s arcade machine or, or a video player. That's it. That's what I've done for this week. So, for three things I've learned this week, I have learned to use the, the platform actuator, which is a built-in component in Unity. Uh, and it allows you to create these very nifty platforms, which are let you can define the angle of influence so that if I set it to 180, all of my platforms are at 180 right now. And what that means is that you can jump through them if you come up from below. They won't collide with the player and they won't have any frictions on the side either. So the only way you can collide by the platform is by landing above it. Yeah, jump cut. So for the second thing I've learned, I've learned to use Unity's built-in animation events. So what they do is they allow me to define an event trigger 
on any frame of the animation and call a function on the object that is playing the animation. So in this case, I'm calling a function called enable attack trigger on the player. And I've set that function up on a component on the player object. And so what it does is if I go into the player, you see there is a trigger box here which is going later when I've implemented combat, it's going to sense whether there is an enemy in front of us or not. So I imagine stacking uh, a number of these attack triggers to show the bounding box of where the air, the, uh, where the attack is going to have effect. So if the enemy is within this box, uh, the enemy takes damage and gets knocked back. And as for the third thing I've learned, Another little neat jump cut there. I might do more of those because it <laughs> saves me doing retakes. Uh, for the third thing I've learned, if I can find the correct script, uh, it's attack trigger. So let me open this up. What I've learned to do is use Unity's message system or event system, uh, which what it does is it sends a message if uh, the enemy collides with, or en if any object collides with this attack trigger that I showed you before, it sends a message to that object to call the function apply damage with a numerical value uh, and an optional message which says that you don't have to have uh, a function that can be called with this name. Uh, if I were to set it to require receiver, if there was no such function on the receiver object, then it would throw an error. Uh, so this saves some hassle because I don't have to set up the reference to the other game object up here and manage the reference. It just tries, the, like the engine tries to find a function with this name on the other object automatically. So it saves a couple of lines of code because I don't have to manage references, which I can imagine can save some time if I continue designing my combat system around using the event system. So that's it for this week. Join me again next week, or weekend rather. I've been, I've been tending to doing these videos on Saturdays. So for next Saturday, I'm going to start doing the combat system uh, and doing some combat animations and making it work so that you can actually damage the enemy and kill them uh, and have like a health bar and player death so that if the player dies then the game exits uh, and I believe that is that for this week see you again next week bye